What's up guys, it's Jordan, and today we have a video. Um, I'm pretty much going to be letting you guys know like how it's pretty much, because I have a lump on my, um, my chest, and it's pretty big, so I know I'm going to have to get it drained eventually, um, but instead of talking about what happens, I would rather bring it up to your guys' attention. So for the people that actually don't know, we do got a lump right there. Pretty, pretty uh, bad, you know? Not my, not my taste in nothing, but I know at the end of the day, I'm gonna have to get surgery regardless of the situation. So I just wanna bring you guys along with that. Um, let you guys know why I'm doing it and all that other stuff. So why am I doing it? It's to put out there even if things get hard you have to keep moving you have to keep grinding you got to keep doing what you got to do yes it's okay to take breaks take breaks at your own pace don't do it at anybody else's what i have going on i mean with this you know it's somewhat painful it's definitely inflamed i can tell you that but what really i i do hate getting lumps i i really do I'm not going to lie with you guys. I, I do hate getting them because the process takes so long. And while the process, damn, it's bright. Uh, <laughs> while the process is being long, I have to pretty much just deal with it. But if it gets worse, of course, I can go to the ER. You know, I'll try to record that if that happens, which probably won't. I probably might not actually. No, that's not a good idea. Um, I just... A lot of people have been like wondering like what is valley fever what does it do to you a lot of people think that the marks on my body look like gunshots and i'm like okay a lot of people from tiktok you know uh, like to be a racial profile me in some manners but i don't really care because you know what if i let that little stuff bother me they won they won and honestly me as a person if you gotta hate on me i'm doing something right baby i'm doing something right and you know this page is all about positivity so let's forget about the negative stuff um but i'm going to assume this is what is going to happen i have a doctor's appointment on the 10th therefore we're going to find a you know pulmonary doctor or whatever it's always those busted up ass cars that like to tailgate you to especially when you already going five over the speed limit yeah back up my boy besides that at the point um you know i'm gonna have to find a pulmonary doctor get x-rays get contrast i hate that so much because it's painful as hell not painful but it will make you feel nauseous for about a week in my instance it took me about two it took me about two because that contrast makes you feel like you you're urinating in yourself and i'm like bruh i like that i was like okay good we, we good um so yeah you know at the end of the day let me try to fuck it there we go so pretty much the purpose of everything is just to bring you guys through let you guys get a good um view of how it is with somebody with valley fever and you know just that you know although it might be rough although it might mess with my mental a little bit that's that's okay it's okay to feel emotion there's no reason for me to hide it at all so let's continue to the road so you know like i said the purpose of why i do what i do is for a reason it's either going to teach a lesson or it's going to show you you know how it is in somebody's shoes although it's not technically in my shoes you guys get to see how it is you'll never understand the pain you'll never understand what it you know the pain that i have to go through or the mental things that it does to you but it will teach you one thing and that one thing is to be humble because man i was living my life before all of this happened um got into a relationship things didn't work out god bless her hope she's doing good um and you know you just you gotta keep going man i've had this for three years now 
I'll be damned if I sit down upset and giving up without trying to find a solution. The, every problem has a damn solution, man. And you have to try your best to try to find it. So this is what's going to happen. Although I said this multiple times, I apologize. I get sidetracked easily. Um, this is what's going to happen. Go to the doctors. Do a little physical. Have her check out you know, the lumps on my body and stuff like that. Then we find the pulmonary doctor. After we find the pulmonary doctor, I have to get x-rays with contrast, CT scans. We got to get all of that. After that, then I go and I get an appointment for my surgery or procedure. Once I go in for that, they're probably going to sedate me because they have so many times put in Cali. Like I said, I don't know how it is out here, so I can't give you a precise answer. But... You know, I know that they're probably going to sedate me because one time they did it while I was awake and all they gave me was a painkiller. I'm like, bruh, come on, bruh. And, and that was like the worst pain of my life too, going through that. Because I'm like, bruh, that's enough. That's enough. But, um, you know, besides that, I'm, I'm going to try to get as much as I can on footage um, I'm definitely going to re record the before. I'm going to record the after. Um, the ride there. Because I can't drive, of course. I can't drive. Well, I can drive, you know, like I'm doing right now. But damn, I can't drive when I'm going in there. Because I would have to have somebody pick me up after. Based off how messed up I would be after the sedation. For those of you who don't know what a sedation is. It's pretty much just putting you to sleep. I'm just putting it out there for people that don't know. But yeah, you know, it's as long as I get that, I'm okay because the other stuff, man, I I, I I just I can't withstand the pain. So give me a break here, you know? But I will tell you this though. Everything that I'm going through is making me stronger mentally and physically as a man, you know, who goes through a lot of stuff with his mental already. All of this stuff is making me a lot stronger, and I'm, I'm thankful for that. I'm really thankful for that. So I'm going to stop talking for the rest of this video. That's going to pretty much sum up of what's going to be happen happening. It's an update. Um, you know, I had a little incident with my side. I'm not, I'm not able to put the pictures in there um, because of how crazy bad it looked. But I just want you guys to know that... Um, I'm doing what I can. I'm striving to become the best person I can be. You know, I'm still grinding. I'm still trying to hit 100K this year, even though I don't know, but I got faith in myself and I believe we haven't hit 2K yet. We will definitely get there eventually. All you have to do is keep trying and putting in the work. I haven't been able to put in the work based off of my health conditions, based off of me working, you know, a lot of hours. You know, you got to do what you got to do. Um, I'm definitely going to strive for 50K if I don't hit 100K. But I just want everybody to know, just keep grinding, man. Everything is going to pay off eventually. You just have to be patient. It's okay that you want to get it in. But before you get it in, you got to have a plan. You got to have everything sorted out. So without further ado, y'all, I'm going to go head back home edit this video, post it, and probably get some rest, because I'm pretty damn tired, you know, I need a break, man, I'm not gonna lie, but I I'm planning on taking that break when I take a trip, don't you do it, yeah, you better stop that, look at them Fords trying to run people off the road, man, never have a F-150, never, that's my preference, though, nothing wrong with the truck, how it looks, it's not my type of truck. I'm more of a, a Ram TRX, you know? That's my kind of thing. You see, remember earlier when I said I get distracted? Yeah, I'm getting distracted. So I'm just going to stop the video here. And I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. What's up, guys? It's Jordan. And today's video, I was going to make a part two, but I'm going to just put it all in one video because why not? Um... We're just going to be talking about how everything went with my chest. And let me tell you guys this right now. My guys, it was.
was not pleasant at all. It was actually pretty bad. Damn, I looked pretty damn good this morning. Um, yeah. <clears throat> wasn't fun. Wasn't good at all. Um, I guess you could say one of the worst parts was that all they did was numb it, and it was in, it was definitely inflamed, and they had to um, cut open my chest, bruh. Oh my gosh. Let's start off with the whole thing, um, starting from when I was at the first doctor's appointment and how it turned to getting everything done in the same day. So, originally I was going in for a physical. Um, I was telling the doctor. Um, I need a pulmonary doctor because those are the people who specialize in uh, valley fever and a whole bunch of other things. So as, you know, I was talking to her, she pretty much, she got on it. She got on it right away. Um, man, she was pretty as hell too. I am not going to lie with y'all, man. I'm not going to lie with y'all. But uh, this, like, she was on it, man. And she got it done in the same day and I'm over here telling you guys like this is what I think is going to happen um I think that they're pretty much just going to refer me I got to go get x-rays and get all that other stuff done that did not happen um I went in she did the physical she um she pretty much went over the lump and stuff like that First thing we did was refer myself to a pulmonologist and um, that got done quickly. And then she um, referred me to a surgeon. So that is going to be another story I'm going to explain later. After I finish explaining everything else, it'll all be easier to understand. So my doctor said it looks like, you know, it's bringing you a lot of pain, which it was because it's inflamed, it's burning. And honestly oh my gosh bro like that was the worst feeling you could probably ever feel ever like so pretty much um she put it in the system as urgent gotta get it done quickly um so okay we finished the physical i get all that stuff done i meet everybody i just wanted to give them a 10 out of 10 because they are definitely very nice people they like to they get their job done you know Sometimes in Sacramento, I would have to get upset, not with my pulmon pulmonary doctor, but other people would be pushing my appointments off farther. I understand California is more of a busy place and stuff like that, but it's also big, it, you know, North Carolina is kind of the same out here too. But they got, they got it done. They did what they had to do. I thanked the doctor for it because I'm not used to uh, a doctor being so concerned about my health besides my last doctor that I had. Um, she put it in as urgent. I went home from that point, still in pain, like, okay, I don't know when they're going to actually get this done. So, I go home and 30 minutes later, I get a call and they're like, are you able to come in for an appointment? I said, okay, what time? 1.45. I said, yeah, okay. You know, it's a consultation, you know, talk about what's what's the issue and then probably come back in a later date that's what I was thinking in the beginning so that did not happen the way it was supposed that well at least what I thought so at that point you know I go in for a consultation and then well before I go in they uh multiple people had called me saying like yeah you know are you able to come in earlier and I'm like y'all had it like that okay well yeah let's get it over with um, so we then go, uh, to get the consultation. My dad takes me because I don't know if I'm going to get it done in the same day or not. So besides that of the point, I go in and I talk to the, uh, surgeon and he's always, uh, and he's talking about like, yeah, I think we should take care of this now. And I'm like, oh shit, like, damn. Okay. Um, I'm like, okay. And then you know, we get to, you know, he gets all this stuff prepped up and then I'm sitting there and I'm like, you know, worried because I always have my little worried moments when this stuff happens. And, you know, I, I you got to be calm in these situations. So pretty much 
they call me into the room and then we talk about you know what they're usually supposed to talk about you know this could happen this can happen whatever whatever sign papers and then we'll begin so i lay down on the thing and i'm just like like damn i don't know what they're gonna do are they gonna put me to sleep or are they gonna numb it or are they gonna give me some pain medication uh i didn't get no pain medication but they definitely numbed it cut open my chest and it was so inflamed that I actually felt that through, like, even though it was numb, I still felt that burning. And I was like, bro, oh my gosh, like, this is hurting. So they get it done with. And then, man, I feel so busted up and weak after that. Cause it's all I'm feeling is burning, 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 burning. And I'm like, bro, like, I need to get my medicine because he prescribed me and it antibiotics for inflammation i never knew that they had that but i guess you learn something new every day other people might have known it but i didn't so hey so we do that and then pretty much i'm you know on the way home when my dad's driving me home i'm starting to get a little irritable i'm starting to get irritated a lot and then i'm just like in pain and then man like when you thought things could get worse, it started burning like it was on fire. And then I'm like, all right, I need to take an ibuprofen then because, you know, it helps the inflammation. Man, that was horrible. That was horrible, man. And my attitude with everybody started changing because I'm over here getting, like, mad and stuff. I'm just like, man, I'm in pain right now. Don't don't mess with me right now. Like, I don't want to talk to nobody. I just want to get this done. So I took ibuprofen, 800 milligrams. Uh still felt the burning so i take hhc that kind of helped that helps more than the ibuprofen helped with the inflammation too and then oh that was a nice maserati um yeah and then i i just i ever since then i've just been really tired i've been really drained out i've been really just in pain so it's been kind of hard for me to actually post videos because i want to but i'm sitting here and i'm thinking to myself like i gotta take care of myself right now like everybody will understand everybody could be patient and everybody was patient and everybody was kind and everything wished me all good luck but i've been recently i just been trying to recover that's why you haven't seen me post in the last 12 days because man let me tell you that was the worst pain i've ever felt in my life and I've been just trying to recover. I've been really tired lately. I got bags under my eyes. Around my eyes been getting dark. My eyes been watery a lot. And I've been just trying to recover. While I have work, you know. And, you know, you got to do what you got to do. You got to get it done. And, you know, I wish I could complain. But there's no point in complaining. Because what is that going to do? But as far as I'm concerned, you know, like it was it was pretty bad i wouldn't say it was bad you know it was it was successful but man the pain is something that you just can never take away it was just something that it was unbearable it was just too much i felt like i couldn't do it i felt like if i just kept going i was going to eventually stop but with a lot of that pain i was starting to get anxiety that got worse so i i really just been these last few days i haven't been posting on as many social medias but i've been wanting to talk about something for the longest and i think i'm going to talk about it here because you know i this is just one of my venting moments helps me out could help somebody else out let them know that they're not alone these roads are so damn bumpy man that needs to be fixed but it's just one of those things that you just you're tired you want to take a break but you're not really able to because you have things that you have to get done you have bills that you have to pay so that's you know even though i'm 22 it's still i'm still like on i'm still a young adult at the end of the day and i'm trying to get everything done i'm trying to become successful as real as much as possible i've, I've been really thinking heavily about you know getting into real estate or something you know that's really just been my thing or to something nursing 
I've been really thinking about those heavily and I'm going to get that done. It's just going to take time. Time's going to really play a big part. And you don't really have a lot of time when you're going through a lot of stuff, you know? When people ask me, like, what do you do on your free time? I don't really have that much free time. And when I do, I'm relaxing. If not, I'm working. I'm focusing on my social media careers. And I know that one day they will pop off. It's just gonna, It's just a matter of time of just continuing to grind and continuing to try to be as good as I could be. One of the things I wanted to talk about was... Um, hold on. Just focus real quick. Okay. One of the things that I really wanted to talk about was just how I've been feeling with this, you know? How I've been feeling with these health issues and stuff like that. Although there's not much that I can actually do about it, it's something that I have to live with and it's something that I have to accept. And I've been trying to tell people like, no matter what happens, you always have to keep moving because time doesn't, time will never stop for you. It doesn't stop for you. Complaining about stuff that is it going to benefit you? It's not going, to, it's not good for you. And I've been just trying my best to be the best person that I can be. A lot of people think, oh, he's a, you know, he has, a, he's kind of like a big, kind of, you know, not a big creator, but he's kind of getting there. He doesn't go through anything. And I, I'm here to tell people that I do go through stuff. I'm just like everybody else. Um, I'm not perfect. I try to strive my best to be the best that I can be, though. And, you know, the only way I'm going to have a positive life is is if I have a positive mindset. I got stuck for a minute. Um, I just, I've been really trying my best. And I know that if I do become successful, I know I will. But when I do, I can do so much for people. And that's not me saying, oh, do this and I'll do this for everybody. No, I'm not, do I'm not saying that. What I'm saying is, is I'm going to be doing that on my own free will. I'm going to be helping people regardless. That's something that I've always, something that I'm just good at. A lot of people, I get messages every day. And it, it, it really affects me in a, in a way. Because it's, it's not good, but it's also not bad. I get messages of people telling me like, yo, like you're the reason that I'm here today. And I want people to know that, you know, I'm always spread positive words and stuff like that. That's that's me for life, man. Like, I don't care about the money in this. I don't, I don't even get paid for it. So technically that's, I just don't care about it. Money is money, but your mental is something that's with you forever. So of course I'm gonna put your mental over money money is just you know and i'm not and one thing i also wanted to talk about to people because a lot of people ask me can money be a source of happiness and i told them yes it could be because it can handle a lot of uh stressing things that we go through but money can control you if you let it control you there's certain things that what the hell did that okay that had nothing to do with me but um that was weird. Some guy just like went from the far left and went all, skirted all the way to the right lane to exit. Ooh, that was a rock. Okay, there's bad traffic. Okay, well, I guess we'll have more time to talk and record, right? Um, no. Actually, this video is going to be ending pretty soon. I just wanted to let people know. Um, well, actually, the big part is, um, I, I'm a selfless person, okay? I'm gonna care about you, I'm gonna care about your feelings, you know, sometimes even before mine, but that's if I'm straight. If I'm good, I'm gonna take care of everybody else. Not take care of everybody else, but I'm gonna try to make sure everybody's straight, you know? Um, besides the health issues, I'm gonna keep you guys updated. Um, we're about on day three right now since I had my chest cut open. Um, you can add my social media or my Snapchat and I'll post it on there, but I'm not going to post it on here cause I'll definitely get banned. Um, but yeah, I was awake during it. Um, 
scary as hell. But um, I'm thinking about, I'm going to tell you guys this. Whoever made it to this part of the video, you get to hear the best part. Um, I will be traveling out soon to be uh, collabing with multiple people. Already got a few set up. So that's, you guys are going to see that in future videos. We're going to try to stay positive. We're going to start just keep pushing to be better. So stay tuned for that. And I will definitely catch you guys on the next one. Sorry if I talk my mouth off too much. I'm a talkative person, but hey, I'm using that to my best advantage. And hey, yeah, that's it for this. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace.